Hello, this is Ovalor Bell, back with another ship review video, and today we'll be looking at the new upcoming tiered Italian CV, the Aquila. The Aquila will be available to get in the preview shop in Armory for 12,300 doubloons for the cheapest price, starting on Friday the 22nd of July. Now, I'll, be, I'll let you all make your judgment on to get her or not based on the information in today's video. Um, but first, I'll be showcasing the ship, and at the end, I'll be going over my thoughts on, on the Aquila. Now, the captain build and ship upgrades will be shown on the top right. Uh, so you guys can see the build there for your leisure. Of course, you can pause the video at any time to make sure you get the build down if you do want to use this build. But now, for this particular video uh, review, I'll be going over the carrier hull first and her plane separately. Now, let's go over the ship hull stats. Uh, now, let's move on. The first will be the survivability. Now, first up is the armor and survivability. The armor will be shown on the top right. It has 51,100 HP with the 25 millimeter deck armor with a 19 millimeter bow slash stern armor with a 19 millimeter partial side armor with a very high citadel, but relatively short, um, which makes this a poorly protected citadel. Now, the Aquila is extremely vulnerable to attack easily going down to just about anything stronger than a light breeze. Players must be mindful of where they position as she won't last long if she is spotted. Now let's move on to her secondaries. Now for her secondary, she has a secondary armor of eight single 135 millimeter slash 45 guns, four on the port side and four on the starboard. They have an HE damage of 1950 with a 9% fire chance with a 10.7 second reload with a 6.6 .6 kilometer range. Now it has a normal CV secondaries, uh, which is pretty crappy. You might kill a 1k HP DD, but that's about it. Aquila has awful secondaries, incapable of defending her against all but AFK destroyers and surface submarines. Pretend they don't exist because they aren't effectively don't. Now next is her entire defense. For entire defense, she has no flat cloud. A far DPF, DPF continuous uh, air damage of 196 and a mid of 308. As very poor performing short range AA relies heavily on her fighters to defend against CV attacks and is definitely vulnerable to enemy CV attacks. The Aquila's AA is too short ranged and carries inadequate firepower to defend herself. Pretty much the, the max range of the anti on this ship is 3.7 kilometers. So, which is insanely short for a tier 8 CV, so just keep that in mind. Now, when enemy CVs will have no problem striking her or keeping her spotted due to this. Now, let's move on to her maneuverability. Her max speed is 30 knots with a 950 meter turning radius and a 12.9 second rudder shift time. It does have poor overall maneuverability. God help you if autopilot drives your ship broadside to the enemy team. Like other CVs, Aquila's maneuverability is fairly poor, though she does fare better than most other CVs. However, she is the second slowest CV in her tier and will struggle to outrun common threats like destroyers. Let's move on to the concealment. You have a sea base concealment of 13.4 kilometers and an air of 11 kilometers, with the sea best being 10.3 kilometers and the air being 8.4 kilometers. It has about the average detection uh, stats for the tier 8 CVs. Now, the Aquila has a decent surface detection, though still an issue given her fragility. While 8.4 kilometer air detect is actually normal, the Aquila heavily suffers from her short range AA. Enemy CVs can easily keep her spotted with their fighters due to the 5 kilometer gap between spotting and anti air. Now let's move on to our planes. Now Aquila only carries two types of planes, rocket planes and torpedo bombers. Now let's go over the attack aircraft first. Now the attack aircraft attack pattern will be shown on the top right, you'll be seeing a run of that going. Now it has an attack runs uh, per flight, which is two, and it has five planes per attack, and number of planes and squads are 10, and with the hangar reserves of 24, with an aircraft restoration time of 58 seconds. It does have AP rocket damage, which does 1,150 uh, max damage. Each plane fires 12 rockets per attack, which is max is 60 rockets per run. Now the aircraft HP is 1,030, so you times that by 10, which would be 10,000 
uh, 300 for full squad. The cruise speed is 169 knots with a max speed of 209 knots. Now, the AP rocket's effective against broadside cruisers and BBs and is capable of penning 38 millimeters of deck armor. Um, you do get four engine boosts and five fighters, which have a patrol range of three kilometers. Now, the Aquila's AP attack aircraft are surprisingly versatile, being effective against any broadside target. 60 rockets per salvo ensures both high damage and good consistency, even against DDs. Her rockets have respectable pen, being able to eat Citadel even BBs such as North Carolina, which is pretty insane to think about. Relatively fast planes also makes it easier to strike ships while her ample reserves keeps her relevant into late game. Overall, Aquila's rockets are fairly capable. Don't neglect them over your torpedo bombers though. Torpedo bombers, um, which the attack pair will be showing on the top right, um, the attack run per flight is three with two per attack, and number of planes per squad is six, and the hangar reserve is 18. The aircraft race duration time is 68 seconds. Now the torpedo damage is 7,133 and up to two per run. The torpedo speed is 30 knots with a torpedo range of 3.5 kilometers and the min arm distance being 0.4 kilometers. You do get a flood chance of 61%. Now the HP of the aircraft is 1,150 uh, times six for the full squad. Now the cruise speed is 169 knots with the max speed being 204 knots. Now the, these torpedoes do have poor alpha strike, only better than the implacable and the parsable. It does have the second fastest torpedo bombers at tier eight, which is pretty insane to think about. Now it does have the slowest HP pool, very fragile planes, uh, slow torpedoes, but very short uh, arming distance. I'm sorry, it's not the second fastest, it's the second slowest torpedo bomber, so that's here, I apologize. Um, the slow torpedoes, but very short on fusing time. You do get two engine boosts, uh, three plane repair parties, and four fighter charges. While her torpedo bombers are fast, that is about the only good part about Aquila's torpedo bombers. They're both fragile and deal mediocre damage, though having a decent flood chance. Their low army distance is useful against large targets, but DDs will have no issues dodging them. Overall, Akula's torpedo bombers are only slightly more effective than Parsifal Swarms. She may have a large hangar reserve than most other CVs, but of that, that doesn't justify their mediocre performance. If we're gonna be going like saying a large reserve hangar than most, uh, of course we're gonna be saying the Kaga is the best because the Kaga is literally the king of having like infinite planes at tier eight. Now let's move on to my overall impressions. Now my overall impressions of of this particular CV is about an average skill floor and a low skill ceiling. Uh, for randoms, I'd say it's mediocre, but down tiers very well due to her AP rockets. It does perform poor in ranked. I'm sorry, it's um, if for ranked, it's poor to vulnerable to CV snipes, the struggles against tier nine back ships. The Aquila also can't deal with VDs efficiently. The Aquila is the first tier eight Italian CV, distinguished, distinguishing herself as a premium CV with AP rockets and torpedo bombers. She has a large hangar size with fast regenerating planes, but carries only two plane types. The planes themselves are fast and, and fragile, but at least carries a respectable armament. The Aquila should make even even use of her rockets and torpedo bombers, both being effective in different situations. Rockets are better suited for cruisers, slightly armored BBs, and even DDs in emergency. Again, so if with the DDs, if they're broadside to your shooting broadside with these rockets, they will do a lot of damage. But if there's like one swinging their aft to you or the bow, you're not gonna do as well against it. Now they are good also for CV sniping, the rockets are, though be careful of getting counter sniped in the process. The Aquila fares poorly in a CV fight. Um, the torpedoes are more effective against BBs and less maneuverable cruisers. You know, my overall impression of the Aquila as I was playing her is it's more like a mediocre, okay, like, eh, okay, CV, more suited for players' interest in the history behind the ship and herself. While her rockets and torpedo bombers are decent, they are good enough to make her truly stand out. The hull is also 
barely poorly protected, vulnerable to any sort of attack. If the enemy CV catches on to this, your life will fairly miserable as you get short, shot cross map by BBs. That being said, she does perform very well when down tier, so club the low tiers as much as you can before repenting for your sins in a tier 10 match. So I was going over, you guys can judge for yourself on this ship if you think it's a good CV or not. Personally, I think there's better CV options you can get. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say the Hornet is better. So is the Chakalov. Kaga is still up there. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend the Aquila highly, but that's more of just my opinion. If you guys want to get it, you can. Um, I did perform pretty well in this match using her, and this was a double CV match. But yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys. But I will let you guys watch the rest of this replay. I don't have the scores i do apologize whenever i did do make this replay i didn't have the scores and they're long gone by now so i apologize so you guys have to look up there but if i remember correctly i was third or fourth on the team in this one but yep i leave you guys to it if you guys have any questions or concerns definitely leave them in the comments down below but this is overlord boat and i'll talk to y'all later segnato la posizione di un bersaglio strategico
terminerà tra 5 minuti. For anyone that stayed on watch for the whole video, uh, I do greatly appreciate it. I just wanted to take the time to thank y'all that watch all of my videos all the way. It does really mean a lot. Even if I'm not super active on YouTube, I do try my best to put out quality content for you all. I do love you all. We've almost at 10,000 subscribers. We've been doing this for almost a year and a half now, almost two years. But yeah, it's been a long ride, but I do greatly appreciate you all. Love you alls. But yeah, um, if you guys uh, have watched this all the way to the end, just do just do 10,000 10, in chat in the comments so I know you did. But yep, I'll talk to y'all later. Love you alls. Thank y'alls for being part of the community. Appreciate you guys.